Hey guys. So today I'm kind of like home. Well, I am homesick. I feel kind of like crap, but my house is kind of driving me absolutely crazy right now. It's super messy. Just like, like life messy. Uh, Joel was gone this last weekend, so I was like solo parenting in the house. It always kind of gets a little wild. But also, um, it's the holidays coming up. And I don't know about you, but I am somebody who really likes to declutter pre-holiday. I know a lot of people like to do it at the beginning of the year. But for me, I like to do it before we like bring new things in. And I just know that there's probably some spaces in my house that could really use a little, you know, decluttering essentially. So today I thought I would bring you through kind of like a whole house declutter. But first I'm just gonna like quick tidy my house because I think it's just so much easier to declutter when, I don't know, you don't have like breakfast sitting out on the table and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna do that quick and then I will bring you around to all the different rooms in our house kind of and declutter some of the spaces. So I just put on a little concealer and a little bit of lipstick because it makes me feel like human and better. I don't think I rub this in very well. It'll blend in or wipe off over time today. <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna start in my living slash dining room. Um, there's not kind of too much to do in here. <clears throat> um, I need to go through like Harriet's toy bin. Just double check, I went through it the other day and I just should double check that there's not anything in there. Um, I cleaned out her books in her room and kind of around the other day, but this is like our um, storage down here that I could, I probably don't need to look through because I just did this like not that long ago, um, but it's on my like camera stuff and randomly just like candles because I usually like burn a candle up here somewhere. And then this is kind of all of our like tech and cords and then I have records and a record player above that. So that one's probably good. I don't need to go through it and make it rid of a candle in there, but, um, and then down here we have like some, um, what would you call it, uh, books. Those are my class books or like my yearbooks is what they call them. And then these are like photo albums of ours. And then there's a Bluetooth speaker, obviously. And then up here, um, like I said, I like to usually light a candle or my essential oils. My essential oils are in there. Um, so there's not too much to do. I probably just have to put a few things away. Like this baseball actually goes in Harriet's room. She caught it at a, like her one of her first baseball games, which is kind of cute. Well, she didn't actually catch it. They threw it to her. <laughs> so let me just look in here. So in here, these are the few things. My mom bought Harriet this when we went to a, like on a trip together, um, Door County, but it's like an ornament, so I wanna kit it out and it should actually be used as a Christmas ornament. This goes outside. This is a rattle. I bought her on some trip or something that she never uses. And then I bought her like wallets and I put things in it and she just like has never liked these and never really plays with them. So I'm gonna send them back to the thrift store the one toy that makes noise in our house. <laughs> All right, now on to the bathroom, which still needs to be tidied a little bit and organized slightly. I'm also going to tidy out our linen closet, which isn't too bad. I just know there's some towels in there that we don't really use, um, but this is a lot of like extra overflow from our bathroom storage. So it's literally right across the hall from it. But I've done a pretty good job of keeping this organized. I like reorganized it not too long ago and stuff, so. But I think these will move into the bathroom and I'll put different things up there and stuff. Cause down here, this is kind of like, <laughs> ever since we kind of mildly renovated our bathroom, I've just done a really bad job of reorganizing it. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm very lucky and I get sent some things occasionally from like companies and stuff, but um, I just don't like use it all. I usually give it to some friends or family and stuff like that, but this is kind of a cool one. They sent like seeds. I kind of want to plant these now. I also need to come up kind of with a better way, I think, to organize my makeup but for now. Leftover makeup that isn't like in my main thing goes in just like a bag like this, which isn't terrible. 
And this, I really need a better basket. This thing is falling apart and it's just such a pain to use. So this is probably just gonna be trash. I have had this since like probably high school. Isn't that funny? These are the bins that are in the top of my linen closet or were, and I think I'm just gonna put them down here. I think that just makes more sense versus having to go into the linen closet to get some of these things. But I need to declutter. This one is for like making my own skincare stuff. Um, this is like skin and hair care items. And then this is like a body care kind of one. And then these are kind of all the things that were living underneath my, um, in here, just kind of flew in there because I didn't put them away when they came in. So I gotta kinda go through these and see what I'd like to keep and what I'd give away and then store them all down here. I already started like decluttering underneath the sink but I need to finish that. Um, I used to use actually a lot of like Grove's products, but I recently switched everything in our house to Branch Basics. They gifted me my first set, but then I bought it since then because I legit like love it that much. It's cool. It's a Minnesota company. Um, and they, this is not focused. There you go. Um, they have like truly, truly clean like cleaning detergents or cleaning products so um but i pretty much switched everything like of this they come with a couple different bottles it's not sponsored i just like am sharing um i made a change there's a lot of um what would you say fragrance in groves products and fragrance is a big culprit of like bad stuff generally um most often fragrance or perfumes are just bad for you so i'm going to dump this out and just uh reuse the bottle probably downstairs or something like that in our um laundry room for like a spray for clothes or something like that and then i need to um baby proof this door here Harry actually doesn't really like ever play in all this stuff. She used to for like a tiny bit of time and I had to move all this stuff out and then she stopped playing in it, but just to like be double sure, I'm gonna add some um, hooks here so she can't open it. All right, that's done. I really need to clean now <laughs> my bathroom. My mirror's so dirty. So we've been trying to like work on Harry potty training a little bit. She's like gone a couple times in there over the last like, month, but she's really not into it. But we usually keep some um, stuff of hers in here. So I'm just gonna use a basket to put like her wipes. And then she usually has a couple of books in here. And I think I'm just gonna like slide them over here so she can still access them. That might totally weird people out, but it is what it is. Our bathroom is microscopic. I guess I could kind of put them over here for her. Um, I don't know, I'll find something. I also need to clean my bathroom. But like, <laughs> this is our only bathroom in the upstairs. I have this in here for my stand-in tripod. <laughs> so it's like pretty small quarters, quarters for two adults and a potentially potty training toddler. <laughs> So you just gotta like do your best, right? All right, so into Harriet's room we go. I try to keep this fairly simple, but sometimes it just gets a little wild and out of control because there are kids' rooms. But um, yeah, this is what we got going. Open the window for some nice natural light. I have a like a room tour of this, but this is kind of its current state. I need to, I'm having um, like a company come to pick up the diapers to like deep clean them. I like to do that every couple of months. Um, I just need to kind of declutter her surfaces, go through her like stuffed animals that everybody gives you too many stuffed animals, <laughs> make her bed. I went through her books actually yesterday. I actually bought two baskets or like two boxes of stuff to a thrift store um just yesterday and then uh i need to do something like i want to i've been wanting to hang that photo there for a while so i'll do that and <clears throat> i need to kind of just like inventory her wardrobe and a lot of it she's like starting to grow out of and i need to like cycle it down for storage um this is kind of her little shoes and self-care type of thing that i need to kind of clean out too and then we have her closet. This 
this whole bin is stuff that needs to like be archived downstairs so i should go through it and double check that i want to keep everything in there um <clears throat> I could just kind of do a quick pass over of this. I have a lot of her like summery clothes here uh, because we are going in not till like February. So I need to double check the sizes on a lot of these things, but we're going to Mexico for my sister's wedding. And a few of these things she could like still fit into, I think. But I need to go through mainly this junk drawer that is in her room. Honestly, like I said, a lot of her stuff, she's like at that age where she's growing out of a lot of things. Um, and I think what's hard for me in keeping a streamline of a wardrobe as I can is, well, A, I love baby clothes to buy at the thrift store and just in general. Um, but the other thing is we have a lot of seasons here, so it's really, really hard to like time her sizes and the weather and like the thickness of her pants. Like I just, sometimes it would just be so great to live in like a very, very one stop shop uh, climate <laughs> because now it's like I had to find her a snowsuit and winter boots and then I have to find two of all those things we leave one at daycare and then we have one at home sometimes it's just a lot and it gets a little overwhelming and stuff for me in our house so I just have to like stay on top of it and I think I just need to create a better like system for storage downstairs I need to kind of make a little area that's just like kids baby stuff and then label them all and that would just make my like sanity so much better because i feel like i already have like three bins of stuff downstairs because it's so hard i don't know what do you guys do with all of your like baby stuff especially for your firstborn i try to buy a lot of gender neutral stuff i keep really things that i love of harriet's if we like had another girl like dresses or something like that and if we never have any other girls i don't know i'll just donate them then so there's kind of um i don't know it's hard for me to hold on to so much stuff but i also don't want to be wasteful and get rid of it and then have to like buy new and second baby or third baby or whatever. I don't know how many kids will have. This is getting deep now. <laughs> but uh, anyways, let me know what you guys do with your baby clothes. I have, I think, feeling like I'm storing too much of it. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Alright, now I'll just kind of get in here and start tidying up and things. So I just went through Harriet's drawers and I'm donating a bunch of stuff. Um, some of it is so sad, but like I never even like took the tag off of that stuff. I hate when I do that. That just like bothers me so much. Um, but this stuff is not something I'm gonna keep for next baby and I'm going to pass it along. So this room behind me, is Harriet's um what would you call it like playroom type of thing but it's also like our mud room it's our um like catch-all it also stores all of our like bed linens for Joel and I's bed in this chest that you're sitting on right now and like all of our hats and mittens there's toy storage in that closet this is technically like our third bedroom but we don't use it as a bedroom it's more of like a multi-purpose room it used to be like my office um, and then a lot of stuff in the closet. So I need to kind of go through this room. This room always like stresses me out because it like just, it's a catch-all and things just get a little cluttery in here, which kind of drives me slightly crazy. <laughs> So in cleaning out that thing that usually hangs up right there and this drawer, I have an ungodly amount of those like little drawstring bags. You know a lot of times when you like get things, it comes in a drawstring bag. I need to like get rid of some of these. This is like stressful and overwhelming and who the heck would use this many? I like to keep some for like specifically for produce that are like really lightweight like this, but I also like to keep some for like my shoes and those are just more that I have. <laughs> All right, I need to go through these. All right, so like I said, I genuinely use these. These are my produce ones. These are the ones that fit shoes really well. That'll go in like the travel spot where I save all of my travel 
like packing cubes and things and these ones are just for the everyday use sometimes i like to throw like a uh, compartmentalized here it's like diaper bag or things like that with stuff um, using these like little reusable bags okay these ones all goodbye all right i'm calling this room good for now um i'm going to declutter this whole thing kind of i think another time my closet it's like periodically i could go through it but i did it not too long ago so i'm just gonna let it be for now <laughs> Now on to our kitchen. I kind of know like right off the top of my head a few things that I want to get rid of in here that I just I know have like excess. So I keep my kitchen like pretty pared down honestly because we just don't have very much room. But um, this room could really use just like a little pieces here and there pulled out that I know I have not used in a long time. Um, and then I also really need to declutter my pantry. That might be another day. I need to declutter this one and that one. This is like the junk cupboard up there and this is like special occasion hosting. And I just like don't actually grab that stuff too often when we are having like people over. I tend to just like use what I already have down so I need to go through that and there's also very random things on top of my fridge all right this is kind of an embarrassing closet or cabinet for me to share but these are like some big bowls that we use for maybe entertaining that stuff this is a really pretty bowl we got for our, or a plate we got for our wedding this is a um it like keeps a hot lasagna thing which you wouldn't think would be very useful but i actually use that all the time for like going to people's houses and traveling for the holidays and then this is kind of the embarrassing part, but this is like mostly compostable up here. Um, I just have a lot of this stuff. I know that I recommend not using like disposable stuff, but I do try and use compostable. And some of this stuff is like very, very old. So it just lives up here. We will use it one day, I guess. Some of the stuff that was up there was like before I was really trying to be like more eco-friendly and sustainable, like this just plastic on plastic silverware. And it sucks, but like I just want to get it out of my life now and move forward and try to do better. So that's what I'm doing. All right, there's a drunk cabinet. The internet can now see it. <laughs> so I cleaned it all out. Um, if you're wondering, this is the after, not the before. <laughs> uh, I just have like some alcohol things like koozies, a uh, carafe thing for wine and beer and these are like my little vases meets a vessel this is june treats so here it doesn't eat them my wine opener and then just some other little things up there oh man these piles are getting big feels good all right onto the last room which is our bedroom this really just needs like a tidy i try to keep it pretty simple and minimal in here but i know there's probably a few things i could um pass along to somebody else who this stuff just like isn't getting used to it's full potential and stuff. So, um, yeah, let's hop in. I bought myself some girlfriend um, collective workout gear. And it's amazing. I'm like wearing it right now. It's awesome. <laughs> Got the leggings on. They're like crazy comfortable and like super duper high. And I got their crop top thing because that's how I like to wear it. So I haven't bought new workout clothes in... I actually like cannot remember the last time I got new workout clothes. My workout clothes are from Lululemon and I have like three leggings and I have had them for maybe 10 years. They're like see-through, they just like, they have seen better days. And a goal for me this year is just getting into a fitness routine again since like having Harriet. And I just have found it very hard to like jumpstart and get motivated. So. A treat to myself of new workout gear is what I did and it is I, I absolutely love it I don't know why I waited so long to get like good workout gear so I bought two sets and that'll be like my whole pretty much workout thing this is my workout drawer right now some of these like I said these leggings I think I've had since like college which is a very long time ago <laughs> I'm getting old so I'm gonna go through this drawer pretty much everything else I keep pretty minimal so 
I'll just know I need to declutter this one. This is what I have now in here. I have two like long sleeve type of tops. These are two shorts. Like I said, that's what I'm getting rid of. And then my sister gave me like the genius idea to just cut these tops that I have that are good workout tops, but I just feel frumpy in them because they're so long and I'm petite. So I'm going to snip them and wear them as crop tops because that is what I like to wear and that's what I feel good in. She did mention when you do that to cut them like a little bit longer than you would, maybe like an inch longer than you actually want them because they roll up um, when you like wash them and use them. Thanks Kimberly. We all have some books in our um, bedroom because Harriet likes to come in in the morning and be like, read, read, read. <laughs> and then I have a bunch of dryer balls I need to bring downstairs. All right, so that's it for today. I decluttered pretty much my entire upstairs of my house. I do have like, we have a second level downstairs, but I'm just kind of not feeling up to it anymore to do that. But I will do that before um, the holiday season. I don't have too much to go down through there because I did it not too long ago, um, just like kind of a couple months ago. That area de definitely tends to be like um, the last of our priority list to organize just because it's not like a super active living space like our upstairs is. Um, it's kind of like a bonus room. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's probably like a pretty long video, but I thought that it would be kind of something therapeutic and nice for me to do, even though I'm like a little under the weather today. But I really enjoy doing this before the holidays because it, one, helps me kind of declutter before new things come in because of gifts and things, especially with like a little one. Um, but also it's like taking inventory of your house. And I find that super, super beneficial when um, you're like in a season of a lot of consumption around you, like the holidays are here in the US. So for me, it's really helpful to go through everything that I own and just take inventory of everything I have so that when it comes time to like do something, whatever it be, maybe I'm making a dish for, um, like a gathering I know like I have these pans and I have this stuff in my pantry and I find that really helpful as well as like when you see all these like good deals for like Black Friday and you're like oh I could really use that or I could really use that going to your house I feel like really helps you and your wardrobe really helps you to kind of like I said inventory what you have and I think it it gives you like a sense of peace with I already own so much stuff that I had to get rid of for me It's like four bags of things and I honestly consider myself to be someone who's like very simple like minimal type of living and I think the hardest thing is just like reminding yourself of what you already have so that you kind of cut that consumption cycle um, and that's kind of the biggest thing is like just learning to not bring new things into your house um, that are just like wants and maybe not a need necessarily so or you know for me like sometimes it's just like stuff has just like not part of my lifestyle anymore and I just need to like let it go and that's also kind of the ebb and flow of life and there's no such thing as like a perfectly to me there's no such thing as like a perfectly minimal simple house it's an ever evolving thing um, so yeah I find it really helpful to do this before the holidays because of just, you know, the craziness that is the holidays. <laughs> Makes me feel good. All right. I will see you guys in my next video. I don't know how many more videos I'll have before the end of the year just because I think I just want to take it easy and to have some time with my family. That clock is bothering me just as much as it is you. <laughs> Um, but I'll be back in the new year. I don't know. I, mean, I for sure have one other video that I'm going to post and then I might just take a break until January. So bye for now.